The property called radioactivity means that individual atoms decay at a certain rate and emit energy in the process. Each decay event results in a breakdown of the original atom into an atom of a different element and is accompanied by a characteristic release of energy. Beginning with its change to thorium-234, each atom of uranium is transformed in steps through 13 elements before becoming a stable atom of lead. One element in this uranium decay series is a gas called radon. Thus, radon is being gradually formed in all uranium-bearing rock. Being a gas, radon can seep into the mine air from rock surfaces and cracks exposed by mine openings. Normal radioactive decay of radon then continues in the mine atmosphere. The first four daughters of radon are believed to pose the principal threat to the health of uranium miners because they result in a relatively rapid release of alpha energy. When a mixture of radon and its daughters is inhaled, most of the radon atoms are exhaled before they have time to decay. However, many radon daughters are retained in the lungs where their decay and release of alpha particles can damage living tissue. About 1921, an early suspicion of the danger of radiation from radon and its daughters came from Europe, where uranium and radium were being mined. In one district, where radon daughter concentrations were very high and mine ventilation was poor, about half of the deaths among underground miners was from cancer. Records are not available, but it is assumed that early American uranium miners had a similar exposure to radon daughters. Studies by the U.S. Public Health Service indicate that radon daughters can be a health hazard in the form of lung cancer. Radon and its daughters are also found in other mines, but usually in low concentrations. They may be present in any underground excavation where minerals containing uranium or radium are present in the rock formations.